In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Hey, Felicia, what's up? Hey. We're back. This is like three days in a row, which is more time yes. than we spent working on the camper. Yes since December. Yeah, since painting it. So we've got a lot that we can get done, a lot that's been done so far, and today is going to be a hodgepodge of activity. Um, we got a lot of loose ends and a lot of projects to begin, and so Lindsay and I are going to be working together a little bit, we're going to be working separately a little bit, and we're going to knock out a whole lot hopefully today. I am done on the outside sealing all the seams, all the appliances that stick out. Um, anything where there could be water leak this is an old rv 22 years old we keep saying that and in that event there was uh butyl tape that was put down under all, a lot of these seams which is great we love butyl tape but it's that black stuff that kind of flakes off the edge and some of it's been in the sun quite a bit and so it's dry and it's kind of flaking out and so that's why we wanted to cover up a lot of this that already had a pretty good seal with the butyl tape um, we're not going to get too nitpicky for the most part, like if you look, this black is the old butyl tape, and we just put a nice thin coat of sealant on top of it. The idea is just to keep water from doing what water likes to do, which is to flow down and find cracks and crevices. So hopefully with this all done, we will rest easy. I gotta hop up on the roof and I'm going to install the last vent for our fan or the vent cover for the fan. Um, it's gonna take these uh, little spacers that are gonna lift up the cover just a tiny bit off the roof. And then I'm going to screw into the roof, which I didn't wanna have to do, but that seems to be what I'm gonna need to do here. Okay, so if you're installing a vent cover on your roof, you'd have a little L bracket that looks like this guy. And these are meant to screw into the fan itself and not into the roof and so when you look at it this is how it should work you should be able to put a screw in to the side a bolt that would go through and not have all this junk over here you would put a nut on this end tighten it together and then that would be here and then you do another one up there and then you do them on both sides and then you're able to set the vent cover and actually bolt it in screw it in here with nuts and bolts so since I can't do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw into the deck into the roof I'm going to use a spacer to create space so that I can then mount upwards like that. The vent cover is all secure, which means I'm done on the roof for the time being. Time to hop down and start cutting stuff up, start building, I think it's time to start building a toilet. Well, so much for that idea. Scratch that. Lindsay went to turn on the fan and it didn't turn on. The only thing I can think is that I put these two, well, this one side screw on each of the four places um, into the plastic of the fan. And there's a chance that maybe I cut through a wire. That's the only thing I can think. So I gotta take this off and hopefully probe around without doing too much work. If it's just a wire, it's not the end of the world. 
I can splice wire together, no problem. All right, lift it up, please. The other fans. Huh? Check the other fans and I lights. Did it work. The other fans work? Yes. What about the other lights? The lights? Yeah. They work. Okay. Well, this is a pain in the butt. It doesn't make any sense at all, actually. Yeah. Well, I'm not certain what I'm up against, but I can see that one screw didn't go into the brains. This screw didn't go in. That one didn't go in. The only thing that actually went in the plastic is right here. And I wonder if it clipped the wire. I'm gonna have to figure this out. I don't know if I'm gonna do it right now. Um, but I'm really disheartened because in order to get to the wires, um, well, I can take the cover off inside. So I'm going to come down off the roof, take the inside cover off, and maybe there's a wire that's exposed that shows me that I drilled through it. Um, I was second guessing putting those screws in, um, but maybe there's something else that's simpler. Maybe there's a fuse that blew for some reason. I'm going to go check it out and update you in just a minute. My fault. I broke the fan. Actually, I didn't break the fan. I just forgot to turn the dang switch on <laughs> that controls the lights and the fan. And <laughs> I tried to turn the fan on. Wouldn't work. So Chris just hit the switch <laughs> and then turned the fan on and it turns on. So go me. Here's what we just did. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> oh. It's like having surgery when there's nothing wrong with you. Like, oh, we're going to cut you open and poke around with your heart, and then we'll patch it back up. Good job, yeah. Lindsay. Well, we went on an Ikea shopping spree the other day. Another one. We've been, like, I think three times there. Um, since we started renovating the camper and we decided to buy some cube storage boxes uh, to put by the door next to our desk so that we have um, some shoe bins places to store our shoes and uh, some dog stuff um, that's quick and easy to grab when we're going in and out and I'm going to start putting that together right now
Okay, this is the face of exhaustion. It's been a really long day. That is the face of a stuffed belly. <laughs> Unless you're Felicia, you probably didn't notice all the stuff we got done today. <laughs> because I stopped filming and I started working a whole lot more. So I'm going to walk you through really quick some of the things that I did that were off camera. Um, obviously we got the final vent on the roof. That's all taken care of. I sealed the outside, all of the seams on the outside. Then, on the inside, there are a whole lot of knickknacks that were going on. So, I just finished securing the desk and our um, boxes together by the door. So, actually, let me show you the boxes. They look so good. They look amazing. I know. We got all this crap on it. You got all that crap on it. So, these are our shoe bins. They're going to be by the door. We cut a piece of, well, we ripped a piece of cedar, and then we stained it, and then we nail gunned it in. And so, hems and hers, or hers and hems, or however it works out. But it shouldn't go too far because it's a little piece of wood. I know I'm going to drive like a bat out of hell. I'm going to accelerate, and those things are going to go flying. But that little piece of wood should help out. We also, today, cut this and stained it. This was leftover um, butcher, block. butcher block. So, we cut it to size to match our boxes set up. And then, Lindsay stained it. We ripped some more cedar, because cedar is amazing and pretty, and we stained it, and then we nailed this into place. Again, to kind of keep things from sliding all around. And then he's gonna have these cute little baskets that are gonna get set up in here. And when I accelerate like a bat out of hell, they're just gonna go boom, and then and fly everywhere. <laughs> but we won't put anything valuable in them. This is now connected to the desk. I got a nice little bracket in here. And then one in the back and then i bolted the desk down to the floor right here and then also to the wall so it cannot move this way oh and then my standing desk so i put some work into this i call it my standing desk if you have a class c like this you call it your cab over bed but this is my standing desk. And so we had done some work on it already, but let me pull it out. All right, so first thing is Lindsay stained this for me. This was a piece, a uh, leftover piece of butcher the block. butcher block. She stained it, if it's perfect. I went ahead and stapled it in place. I put this Ikea slip resistant, whatever you want to call it, stuff down. So that'll make that nice. And then I put these little strips in. The strips are going to act as dividers, but it's also pinching down the sticky stuff, which isn't really sticky. It's not. But... I did the same thing over here. We call it sticky stuff because we're idiots. We don't know what it's really called. Um, we put this down over here. I put this down over here again so I can keep extra pencils, pens, my girlfriend's phone number, and like little black book and all that stuff over there. Lindsay was right there. <laughs> Where's a dinette, you may ask? We don't have one. Where's a dinette, I may ask? It never came with the camper. We didn't have one with the camper. What were we going to do if we had one? Rip it out. We were going to rip it out. <laughs> rip it out anyway, so it was a plus that this camper didn't come with one. I mean, it did originally, but somebody took it out, and hey, I don't miss it, so... You may have a dinette in your Class C camper or your truck camper or whatever you have. If you have a motorhome, you have like four times as much space, Class A. But um, we didn't want a dinette. It wasn't really a, a good use of space. And so what we were able to do is basically set up a one-sided dinette. So one of us can sit at the desk and eat. And the other can sit at the invisible sofa. Yeah, the non-existent sofa. The non-existent sofa. The it'll, sofa's gonna go here. It'll be there within 10 days. It's gotta be. The first thing I did today was I went to Lowe's at 7.30 in the morning and that was fun. I didn't leave there until 10.30 in the morning. I spent three hours shopping for things that I didn't need to shop for, trying to plan out in my mind all these different projects. But I will get started on all that stuff tomorrow. The one thing I'm super excited about is I found a way to plug our black tank and it costs 78 cents. 
I don't know if you've ever unplugged your toilet and or disconnected your toilet and taken a look down the black tank hole, but uh, it's pretty gnarly. And so we were having some stink come up because we took our toilet off and uh, instead of stink, now we have a cap there. That's pretty exciting. Can't really show it to you. It's down underneath that orange bucket there. Everybody knows what that orange bucket is. The poop bucket. It's the poop on Home Depot bucket. Mm -hmm. That's our Home Depot bucket that's gonna turn into the toilet. So uh, that is today. I don't. We're gonna go back to where there's a little more light. Here's our fantastic, beautiful shower. I just can't. Oh, I just can't stop looking at it. I know it's amazing. I don't even want to shower in it. I don't want to get it dirty. We'll just look Ooh. at it. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. That's how remodels go, right? You make it look so pretty. You're like, I can't use that. I can't live in this thing now. I can't That's live in this nice. thing. If you'd like to buy this thing, it is now available for $50,000. <laughs> if you have $50,000, I will even autograph it anywhere you would like. It already is autographed. It is. Oh, I did <laughs> in a secret place, but I'll autograph it somewhere more public. But if you have $50,000 and you'd like to take it off our hands, it is so pretty. We are scared to break it in and touch it and break something. So um, you're welcome to it. Send an email, hello at calltowonder.com. Serious inquiries only, firm price. We're not negotiating $50,000 on the dot. Um, what other things can we throw in there? What do you mean? The throw in huck. I'm not giving them my dog. You can you can have Huckleberry too, if you throw no. an extra dollar in. No, fifty thousand one dollar. Twenty five grand then. Okay, for <laughs> seventy five thousand dollars, you can have this beautiful, beautiful Class C motorhome and Huckleberry, our beloved son. <laughs> Why would you sell our dog? All right, this is that exciting time in this video where we thank you for being a part of our journey. Thank you for paying attention to all the wonderful, awesome things we did today. Although it may have seemed boring at times, it definitely was not boring or unproductive. We had a great day. We got a lot accomplished and we are glad that you are along on our journey. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. Like this video, leave a positive comment, question, something that uh, will get a great response from me because if not, I'm gonna hit delete. Delete. That's just what I do. We respond to every comment, so please make sure that you send us a comment, a positive one. We're trying to make the world a better place, and it's a better place when you are positive as well. Thanks for watching this video, especially you, Felicia. We know you will be back next time watching. Fully attentive. There will be a quiz in the next one. The winner will get a high five when we see you. High five.